Hi there, welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to be looking at a game called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rooftop Run. Now, when you first start the game, you can only play with one turtle, which is Raphael. Then to unlock the rest, you have to use coins that you've got with um, playing the game. So at the moment I've got 731, so I can't actually unlock any of those. So for now, we are just playing with Raphael. Now the controls are really easy, it's just one tap control. He will automatically run himself, then you just tap when you want to jump. Like so, so jumping over the gaps in the rooftop. You collect those green energy balls, and the baddies that you see with the swords, you just tap when you want to fight them as well. To do a higher jump, you just tap and then hold. And you've got to see how far you can last. Along the way you collect your coins as well. And just make sure you keep collecting those green energy balls to keep your bar at the top going. Like so. There are items you can find along the way as well, like if you find a pizza slice, it gives you a spin at the end of the game, and with this spin you can get extra points, or even power-ups, and coins. Not doing too good here. Whoa, yikes, that's me gone. So at the end it tells you your distance, which wasn't very good compared to what I've done before, and also how many coins you earned during that game. Then if you want you can go to the store or play again, so I'll just show you the store. You basically start out with very basic turtle, you don't have many boosts, gear, weapons or gadgets. So to improve them you have to use your coins. So like your gadgets, to get a laser bot or a blast shield you will have to spend all these coins here. And I've played it quite a bit and I've still only got 787 and I've got those ones there. So they're quite steep really, so you've bought that app as well already. Um, but to get them you will need to keep playing quite a lot to build your coins up. If you want to do it quicker you would maybe just have to buy them within the app. But if you're happy to play without any power-ups to start off with and can just keep playing the game to build your coins up, then that's fine. You will probably enjoy it. It is a nice, easy-to-play game. Definitely a quick-play game as well. So let me know in the comments below what you think, if you've tried it yet, what you thought, whether it's what you expected. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.